Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. See, this is why I pay no attention to the media. This is why I pay no attention to how bad the Russians are. Because if the Russians were so bad, all the media and all of those in the government who was saying that Donald Trump was in bed with Vladimir Putin, he was a puppet, they've said nothing about all the dealings that Hunter Biden, the Biden family, the Clintons, uh, we're in bed with Russia, so Russia just got bad? You mean to tell me when Barack Obama was the president, Russia was okay then? They just turned bad? Well, why you didn't let them join NATO when uh, when Vla when uh, Barack Obama was the president then? Now we see this deal, and nobody should be shocked by this. We already knew some. it was something behind the $3.5 million that the former mayor's wife, who's a billionaire, gave Hunter Biden. Now we find out that it was a it was for a forty million dollar real estate deal that Joe Biden knew about it because the big guy always gets his ten percent. Is it ten percent or twenty percent? I mean, nobody really knows. Now somebody need to explain to me: Is Russia bad, or is Russia not bad? Or the only time Russia is bad is when you want to try to try to throw dirt on Donald Trump and make sure. That you use this smoke screen. Russian collusion was a smoke screen. Everybody knew it. The intel community. Matter of fact, most of the members in James Cummings FBI should be prosecuted for the phony Russian collusion. All those in the media who propagated this lie of Russian collusion, if they were too stupid to know it was a lie, just revoke all their media credentials. Because anybody who's thinking, who has an IQ above, above 14, could have seen that this so-called dossier was completely fake. When the FBI who was investigating it, they had the fella on his, but he's on trial now, allegedly. The jury has just been seated in the trial for the Russian analyst who provided intelligence that ended up in the now infamous Steele dossier. Igor Donchenko was indicted on five charges of lying to the FBI about where and how he received that information, which former British spy Christopher Steele then included in that 2016 dossier. NBC News Justice and Intelligence correspondent Ken Delaney joins us now. Ken, there's a lot to sort of keep track of in terms of the timeline line here. And this is the only remaining case stemming from special counsel John Durham's probe into the origins of the FBI's investigation into possible ties between Donald Trump and Russian interference in the 2016 presidential campaign. So just remind us, Ken, how exactly this dossier came about. Right. The so-called dossier was a set of private intelligence reports, Morgan, prepared by Christopher Steele, a former British spy. He had been hired by an American firm called Fusion GPS, which was paid to do opposition research on Donald Trump, first on behalf of Republicans during the primaries, then for the Clinton campaign. The dossier, which was published by BuzzFeed after Trump was elected, asserted that the Trump campaign was conspiring with the 2016 Russian election interference operation. Congressman, this is pretty simple. Let's be clear on this. Steele said, I can't corroborate this. And then the FBI, our FBI, the people that we tasked with keeping us safe from really, really bad people said, hold on a minute. Does a million dollars change your mind as to whether you can corroborate this? Isn't it really that simple? I have no idea what the FBI's rationale is. This is another sad day for the FBI. Uh, if they use a million dollars to try to justify their actions in other instances, then uh, this is certainly an agency that's budget needs to be under close examination in a Republican majority. It's a mock trial. He was a he was actually an informant for the FBI, and he's the one who was feeding Christopher Steele the the information for the fake dossier. You mean the FBI didn't know about this when they was fi filing these false uh, so-called uh, FISA warrants? Now Peter Strzok, the fella who was but one of the main ones at the FBI who was behind this, he's on CNN. He's an expert witness. Andrew McKay is working at CNN as an expert witness. Can't make this trash up. And all this time, Hunter Biden was cutting deals with bad, bad Russia. I thought Russia was corrupt. We won't even talk about back in 2009 during a trip to Geneva that the, the, the Secretary of State, uh, presented the Russian foreign minister, Sergei, gave him this red button uh, called, the, it was supposed to be reset. I think she misinterpreted it as overload or something. I can't remember. 
But here we have Hillary was saying just in 2010, she was she was explaining that the goal was to help strengthen Russia. One of the fears that I hear from Russians is that somehow the United States wants Russia to be weak. That could not be farther from the truth. Our goal is to help strengthen Russia. That's interesting. In 2010, Hillary Clinton, who's the smartest woman who's ever ran for office, allegedly, and you mean to tell me just in 2010, she was trying to help strengthen Russia. Now, she said this. Everybody's familiar with the Uranium One deal, right? See, this, all of this stuff has happened. The Uranium One deal, where, where, where we were in bed with allegedly uh, the, the Canadian company Rossostom, which was a atomic, atomic energy corporation, it was going to purchase 51.4% of the Canadian company whose international assets included 20% of America's uranium capacity. Who was the president then? Because he's supposed to be like the smartest person. He's like the black queer messiah, right? You mean to tell me he didn't know the difference? So in 2010, it was okay for Hillary to cut these side deals with Russia. And it was okay for Hunter Biden to cut this deal in 2012 with this Russian billionaire, wife of the former mayor of Moscow. And the media was silent. And your so-called intel community, who's worried about national security, all these little bitty uh, hall monitors who was telling you that Donald Trump, he tried to do something with Ukraine, let's impeach him. Nancy Pelosi, who was losing her mind, says all about the Constitution. There was nothing there because he asked, the, before we give you any more money to Ukraine, let's make sure we do away with the corruption. And it was a good reason for him to say that since Joe Biden, who was the point man in the Ukraine, had to prosecute a fire that was investigating his crackhead son, Hunter Biden. I loathe Hunter Biden. Everybody, he act like he think he's smart. You wouldn't be nothing. That crackhead would be in prison if it wasn't for his perverted daddy who takes showers with his daughter. Can't make this stuff up. Where was the intel community when Hillary and, uh, uh, and the Bidens were getting rich? I'm going to tell you where they were. Because if I'm not mistaken, if my memory serves me right, if I can remember correctly, Bob Mueller had something and he signed off on this deal too. Yes, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Special Prosecutor. Because I think, he, if I'm not mistaken, he may have been the head of the FBI when this deal, uh, they cut this deal. I can't remember, but if, if my memory serves me correctly, I believe he was. So in 2009, and 2012, and 2010, Russia wasn't bad. And it was a little suspicious as soon as Donald Trump had won the election. Obama started trying to kick out these Russian people saying they were spying. Yes, tensions between Russia and the United States. You were looking live at the Kremlin, that's the center of the Russian government, where officials are talking retaliation this morning. Yeah, this comes after President Obama announced new sanctions against Russia, payback for the alleged hacking of our presidential election. ABC's Mary Bruce is at the White House with the latest on this story. Mary, good morning to you. Good morning. That's right. An eye for an eye. Russia is promising to fight back, set to expel dozens of American diplomats after the U.S. did the same. President Obama has given 35 Russian diplomats until noon on Sunday to leave the country and hit Moscow with tough sanctions. The president saying every American should be alarmed by Russia's cyber attacks. They've been over here all this damn time. If we allow all of these dignitaries from Russia to set up camp in our country, don't tell me how bad they is and they can't join NATO. This is a joke. I don't know how thinking people actually listens to anything the intel community says and the media says. They're full of lies. And they knew that the laptop was Hunter Biden's in 2020 and in 2019. They knew about it in 2018. They knew about all the dealings that the Clintons, matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, let's bring up some more history. I believe Bill Clinton went over and gave a speech and the Russians gave him, if I'm not mistaken, Five hundred thousand dollars. Yes, this was round. This is around the same time that the uranium deal was cut. See, they got ways to launder their money legally. Book deals, speaking engagement. Who in the hell pays Bill Clinton five hundred thousand dollars for a freaking speech? It's obvious this is the way they launder their money. It's obvious this is the way they do their corruption. 
What was the intel community at with our national security then? Can't make this go. I don't trust nothing the intel community says. I don't trust nothing the media says. This is why I got a problem with phony. I'm going to bash Lindsey Graham. I hope Lindsey Graham loses. I don't care if a liberal wins in South Carolina now to get Lindsey Graham out of there. I loathe Lindsey Graham. And I will never have respect for that fraud Sean Hennedy over at Fox News. Kept on talking about this Ukraine war. Like Russia was such a bad guy. When all of the Bidens, all of the Clintons, the Obamas was in bed with Russia. We don't, we're not going to keep bringing up the whole NATO and the reneging uh, of the deal that they signed not to expand. But we know for a fact Hunter cut the deal with this billionaire Russian. I thought it was bad to do business deals with him. And if you look at this right here, I don't know how we can say we're not compromised at this point. And I just saw where they were sending uh, some of the bombers to lead NATO nuclear drills over Europe, trying to get us in another freaking war. Pretending as if Russia is the problem when our government is the damn problem. Hunter's real estate fund, Rosemont real, 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 Realty, had apparently raised a total of $69.7 million to invest in a 2. Uh, a 15 million square foot office space. Hunter should be, this crackhead is dangerous. He has threatened our national security and the, the secret service in your intel community was protecting this crackhead while he was stalk bucket naked doing crack with whores and hookers. And this is what we're talking about. We Don't, don't, don't lecture me. I, I can't stand these phony uh, so-called people who don't even read history, don't know nothing about history, trying to lecture you on Donald Trump and Russia. The threat to democracy, stop it. You're embarrassing yourself. A crackhead cutting billion dollars and million dollar deals, you don't find anything wrong with that when his father is the freaking VP. Of course he's selling access to this crazy Joe Biden, corrupt to the core. And nobody seems to be concerned about this. We got pictures of Joe Biden with Hunter Biden's associates. And they say he, Joe Biden said he never had any dealings. Did the media do their damn job? No, they didn't. Too busy with Russian collusion. Too busy still. Why is what, Liz Cheney? Where's Liz Cheney at? And this January the 6th, another smoke screen. Tell Liz Cheney to get over here and investigate. If she want to do something, why don't she investigate the Biden? Keep talking about Donald Trump. Obsession with her. Lock that skank up too.